Let's get onto the phone lines and speak with economists from the University of Ghana Business School, Dr. Edu Owusu Sakodia. Doc, before this particular day, you had already um, predicted that or expected that the policy rate is going to go up. Now, 200 basis points, is that satisfactory enough to avert some of these economic challenges that we're already facing? Yes, I, I think uh, they looked at the economic environment, they looked at the rate of inflation and the budget deficit. Uh, to have arrived at that increment. And I think, in fairness to the bank, that is the available tool for them to use to fight inflation. Uh, and it is satisfactory on their part. Uh, but I'm saying that uh, this type of inflation that we are experiencing in the country is more of a supply-side kind of inflation. So even though they would increase the policy rate, it's not going to have any much uh, effect in controlling the inflation. What we need to do as a country is to go to the supply side factors, i.e. the inputs that are used for production, uh, fertilizer, fuel, utilities. These are the things that are driving inflation. And that is what we must tackle. But mm. in, like I said, in fairness to the bank, the bank cannot go and control fertilizer. They can't control food uh, inflation. They can only control liquidity pressures. And that's what they have attempted to do. Mm. Dr. Ususakwadiye, so... There is the concern also you're saying about the supply, uh, but the Bank of Ghana is also projecting that there's going to be an elevated inflation profile in the near term because some of these issues, that's the supply, feel that you talked about the um, inflation for utilities, they are looking at going up. So how do you expect us to actually look at this? What can we do looking at the fact that these other factors might see some inflation in the next term? Yeah, you are right. I mean, if uh, the ECG and Ghana water succeed with their uh, tight increment, then we are going to experience higher inflation than even the current level of 23.6%. And so we must tackle this type of inflation in multiple ways. It shouldn't be left with Bank of Ghana alone. All the, the ministries in charge of the rest sector, I mean, the great, the industry, all Ministry of Finance, all those in the rest sector, because inflation here is coming from the rest sector. So let's do food production. Food inflation is higher than non-food uh, inflation. And so where do we start from? We start from food production. The inputs that are used to produce food, i.e. fertilizer. Now we can't get fertilizer, and that is why cost of food production has been very high. So let's tackle that. Let's set up our own local plant and produce our own fertilizer. Uh, I know that there are some inputs that are imported for local production. Let's again look at those inputs that are very sensitive to price and reduce the import duties on those inputs. And I'm sure it will bring down the cost of local production and then we can pick it from there as a country. Mm. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Edu Owusu Sakodi. I'm sure we'll be getting in touch with you as the days go by to really understand way forward in solving inflation in the country.